Hi guys, it is a 37 episode of A Perfect Monday and today we are going to do a Christmas Santa socks uh, as this is another quick and easy design for you. Also, I would like to say a huge thank you for all support you're giving me to this channel and all those new subscribers. Thanks so much. That's the Christmas socks which we are going to paint today and uh, you can see that on this one we will be using a little bit of the glitter and the rest will be a gel polish painting with a little bit of shadows and then just so the design is not too boring we will do a couple of the Christmas bubbles. Now I'll put that on the side and prepare my paint uh, colors uh, during the curing process of uh, applying the gel polish. So that's my tips bath and I'm going to use white gel polish which is 173 tic tac it's a really nice white shade I quite like it like one of my favorite ones I would say because it's this kind of like white white color just applying on the entire tip you can see it how nice uh, color it has and then put it to the lamp do the same on the other tip just so we've got them both ready and give it a cure. On my mixing palette, which I've got just there, I'm going to prepare some colors and this is going to be a red. Yep, that's this one. I'm also going to need the gold sparkle and I love this one, Iconic style. It's a really nice one. We are also going to need the black, which I'm really almost run out. Uh, so I will be just putting a drop of it. That's my first tip cure. And over this tip, I want to put a little bit of the sparkle. I thought it will look nice, especially for a Christmas time. And the sparkle we're going to use is 169 color. It's really nice one too. I had it on my nails and it looks fantastic. Because we're putting the sparkle, I don't need to put two layers of the white because the sparkle is going to cover any imperfections anyway and I have got pretty good coverage after one layer. I'm just applying the sparkle and, and give it a cure. Do the same on the other. And because we are going to paint like a really fine detail, you're better off to apply the top coat after putting any sparkles on. Like if it would be a smooth surface, I wouldn't be bothered about putting the top coat, I would paint straight away. But when we have the sparkle, it's better to put a top coat over it so you don't get the um, paint stuck in a glitter because uh, then you cannot uh, get a perfect line. And uh, because I don't want to buff it, I will be using the Soak Off Top Gel. It will be much easier and quicker. So I'm just applying thin layer to get rid of the roughness from the sparkle. It's not like rough, rough, but for paint and, and doing such a small detail, it is really important that the surface is extremely, extremely smooth. And then give it a cure again. So after this part, we are going to start painting with the red color first. And basically what you would do is first indicate the shape. So don't worry about painting it perfect. Just kind of like indicate where you're starting and what you're doing. So 
so I'm not bothered about perfecting anything I'm just doing a splash of the color I find it that's like painting with the splashes of the color is just much easier for full composition. So once we've got the bottom done, I can concentrate on the top now. And again, just a little indication like I'm starting um, slimmer because uh, this way you'll know how far you want to go with the design. So much slimmer to start off. So we can always add it more. Color it in. So this looks like already misshaped sock. And now I can start perfecting my, um, my shapes and uh, structure. So this parts definitely need to go thicker, much thicker. This is too much C shape, so I'm going to straighten it up a little bit and thicken it up. And we need to add those volume on the bottom of the sock as well. <laughs> like on the top. Much more. Same on the back. I find it is much easier for me painting this way rather than trying to paint a perfect shape and then something goes wrong. So I'm kind of slowly adding more to achieve the shape I want. I'm just straightening up the bottom a little bit. And we're almost done with the background. Just put this um, top part a little bit higher and then I can give it a cure. I'm not bothered about perfecting it here like 100% because we will add some glitter, so it's just a waste of time. And I'm going to, after I have done the splash of the color, I'm going to give it a cure. And at the same time, just to save you time, we're going to do the Christmas bubble on this one. So again, starting off with the splash of the color. I really like those shape of the Christmas bubbles. Then with the glitter one, we could paint a different shape.
Okay, inside the lamp, cure it. We can also add those sparkle on the top of this soak. And you want the sparkle to stick out a little bit. So I've got my sparkle added on. And again, for a balance, I can see I can add a little bit more thickness. Then give it a cure. Here I'm 100% happy with the shape of the Christmas bubble. So I'm going to um, start shadowing it and adding the sparkles on the top, a drop of the sparkle and then we lines. You can do them on the side. When we're going to shadow, I want to see, show you that. So I'm just um, adding a drop of the red into my black. I don't want it to be too strong. Nice and thin brush. And just outline it. You don't want too much black in there, just a tiny bit. Then pure black. And just go around the Christmas bubbles. Doing this way is quite useful because if you go over too much, you can easily correct it. Like by adding just some more, like see, I will show you actually. You can just add a tiny bit more sparkle on top of it. Then I'm smoothing out the excess of the black which I had in here and also make it nicely faded. So this, and I'm actually show you here as well. So I've got quite a lot of black. And then I'm taking a tiny bit of the glitter and make it faded. So this way it looks better. I have to give it a cure before I do any more black inside the red Christmas bubble. And we can start doing the same with the Christmas socks. So I also want a little bit of the top coat because now I need to add all those shapes and details. So the top coat black and red. The Christmas sock has a little bit of shadow on the top. It has a bit of shadow at the heel and a little bit of shadow just in there. Um, take a tiny bit of the top coat, mix with your red and start fading that. So this way the shadow is not as strong but it's nicely faded.
I'm going to give it a cure on the Christmas bubble we can move on into that will be the last step just playing with the black and with the um, lines so and that's a false start I don't like this line <laughs> it's a bit squint there we are don't want to hide the view from you I'll go this way here so nice and thin lines after the lines are done the top of the Christmas bubble And a couple dots. Can also add some chains on the top as well. Inside the bubble, I'm just going to add a little 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 tiny black lines you can make them thicker from the one side so it looks more like a wee shadow and that's this one completely done we can concentrate on the sock we have to outline the sock so it looks better very thin lines nice and thin now on the top I wanted it to go kind of rounded I have patched my white with black oh no and I've got like an eyelash wand I find it is pretty cool to cleaning that's it gone so a good tip for you instead of going with the wipe which might be a bit too big I'm outlining the rest of the sock I can see my heel is a bit too small. So after I have outlined it, I'm going to blended it in with the red gel polish so I'm just cleaning my brush going to the red and I will be kind of pushing the black um, away so this way I can blend it it's really nice See what is happening, like the black becomes much nicer 
and smooth it out but also it gives like those shadow and it's nicely blended same here we've got the black uh, blob on the bottom so just going to blend it nice you can see how it's changed So this way I still got the outline from this black, but it's not as big, as nicely faded in. that's the socks i'm going to give it a cure because we have to add the detail which is on the bottom just move this one it's a bit still too curve that's a better so I'm going to give it a cure. On the Christmas bubbles, we can put the top coat and this one is just completely finished. Give it a cure and finish off the sock. So now on the sock, I want to add the last black details. Very slim line. Right on the top, where the heel is. And up on the front. So it's just a couple like very small lines. Give it a cure. Well, actually, before that, save the time, we do the hook. And a bit where the sock is hooked. Going to give it a cure. Now the Christmas bubbles are finished. I can put them on the side. And we can keep finishing the sock. On the places where we have put those uh, black lines, I'm going with the white now. Just a tiny lines. And then give it a cure. Just a couple seconds to freeze it and we can finish off the top part. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of black. doing a bit of lines so it looks more like a rope or something yeah 
yeah I think I'm happy with the soak bit more definition here and then I'm going to give it a cure a couple seconds and then top coat and that's the design finished so it's something which takes a little bit more time uh, I think it's nice on the one or two two needles and then the Christmas bubbles are quite nice too I'm just applying the top coat on my sock And if you liked it, this design, just let me know in the comments down below or hit the share button so more people can see it as well. If you're new to this uh, channel and this is uh, one of the first designs uh, you see I have done, uh, thinking about the subscribing or just hit the subscribe button uh, to see more of different uh, type of designs because there is uh, lots of uh, different ideas for everyone. And mainly we doing uh, very quick designs on Monday for the salon work and then on Wednesdays and Saturdays uh, we do more complicated designs and a bit of a structure. So that's my tip finished and we've got another sock for the collections. Thanks guys for watching. Bye!